Good afternoon, everyone. It is Saturday, August 10th. I am that by guy 3000. And first of all, I want to say thank you to everyone who has watched my music video, Wait by the Deer Hunter. I am really happy with the way it turned out. And I really want to thank Pamela, Mark, and Doug for all their help with the video. I honestly, I couldn't have done it without them. And I'm so happy with the end result. And, um, but what I wanted to talk to all of you about today is allowing good things in your life. Um, just this last week, I've been in a really bad headspace regarding the video because I started questioning why I'm doing this channel and why I'm doing this music video project that I'm doing if uh, it doesn't end up being that it leads to anything in the long run. And I can easily get myself into a headspace of saying, you know, what you're doing isn't good, what you're directing or producing uh, has no bearing on what's going to happen in the future. And it's amazing how I've been so ingrained into thinking of the negative so many times in my life that I just don't allow good things to happen in my life. I'll create barriers for no reason to exclude people from my life and to not let friendships nurture and develop. And also, I know it has negatively impacted my relationships previously. And that's one of the great things about being with Doug is the fact that I'm able to express those concerns, but have somebody who is understanding and supportive when I say what I say to him that he understands it's not being directed at him. It's just what I'm trying to process individually. And it really opened up some doors for myself to make me realize that I am very quick to shut people out of my life if something negative happens. And that's not good because just because something negative happens doesn't mean it has to come to an end. So you know, some things do. You have to shut those doors when they come um, come to be. But in the long run, if I keep isolating myself from anything positive, then I am going to dwell on the negative. And that's not good. I can't be that way anymore. And it made me realize that there were so many things that were said to me growing up that really cast doubts on who I wanted to be as a person. And one of those things was the fact that um, I was essentially told that I should accept the fact that at some point in my life that I may be alone for the majority of my life. And I think that affected how I approached friendships and relationships. And I know that it comes down to me making those changes but it's also very important that when you are developing those relationships with other people, that you don't give them the impression that their worth is less than somebody else's because that can just mess with a person's mind in so many ways. And especially with somebody who deals with depression, lives with depression, just saying something that can have that negative impact can you know, affect a person's psyche for many years. And I know that I've discussed that, that I have a lot of work that I'm still doing, but I'm also realizing that by allowing these good things to happen in my life, I someday will be able to achieve my goals that I want to do. Um, and that is this channel that is making music videos that is, you know, directing. And also, um, the, the great thing is, is that you know, with Pamela uh, working with her, I've already started talking about new ideas that uh, I want to do in the future. And it's all about collaboration. It's also, you know, breaking out of my comfort zone because, you know, like I said, you know, I create a bubble and I exclude people and I need to challenge myself. I need to make myself better because in the long run, if I want to direct, there might be projects that I normally wouldn't undertake, but it will give my fresh perspective on it and also help somebody else achieve their vision. So um, now, before I forget, I've posted, well, actually, I haven't posted the videos, but 
I have recorded some, never posted them. <laughs> I'll get to a point eventually. Well, what I want to say is this. I'm going to get up and I'm going to show you um, something that I'm doing in terms of a giveaway. So um, as I mentioned uh, in an Instagram post that I had um, a Pop Funko that I was going to give away after I reached um, 100 subscribers on uh YouTube. So uh, here it is. So I have found at GameStop uh, this 25th anniversary limited edition Funko exclusive of Conan O'Brien, <laughs> the lighting, <laughs> but Conan O'Brien. Um, it's numbered 25 right there. And um, so once uh, I reach 100 subscribers on my channel, uh, I am going to give that to one lucky winner. Uh, you have to be in the continental United States. Uh, so there's that. But at the same time, I want to make this channel grow. I want to accept good things in my life. And as always, I thank you very much for watching. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at that by guy 3000. And I'm going to have some more videos coming down the pipeline and I thank you once again from the bottom of my heart. It is greatly appreciated that I'm getting the support that I'm getting and the love that I deserve in my life. I love you 3000 and I'll talk to you again soon. Have a great weekend.